This is Excel, and it's lift sword time. First, we go along to Excel East Station, which is Prince Regent, and along to a lift vet. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Going down. Platform level. Doors opening. And now we go along to another lift at Prince Regent. And now I've got a new lift key. And it is the Juhas key. Let's try it out. Oh no, unauthorised key usage. That's terrible. And it does fuck all. Oh well. Doors closing. And now we go along into a hotel and along in some Gen 2s. Doors it's the notice Gen 2 in the Loft Hotel. That's nice. And now we go along to a little Schindler MRL outside of Excel. <coughs> It's a little glass Schindler MRL outside Excel Center, and that's good and looking beautiful. And now I go into Exo and along some really nice Schindler MRLs. Let's ride them! It's a really nice Schindler MRL in Main Excel Center, and it's so awesome. along to some Schindler MRL service lifts which I'm not supposed to go in even more reason to go in them first into a left lift <laughs> Oh. 
have arrived and all of us floor with us in that button, so I wonder where it goes. Sadly, I never got to find out, as when I called this lift, the button lights up for a minute, then it cancels the call. Don't know what's going on there. So now we go along to the next lift, which is a little Schindler MRL down to a car park, and it appears I've got to film this one. So now we go along into the main part of Excel and along to an awesome Mitsubishi. This lift runs really well, it's really smooth and has intelligent levelling. Let's ride it! It's an awesome Mitsubishi lift and that's terrific. And now we go along to a Mitsubishi staff only lift. And as always, I'm not supposed to go in this lift. Even more reason to go in it. Now I go along to another awesome Mitsubishi. It's an awesome Mitsubishi lift which is extremely good. And now to another awesome Mitsubishi. It's an awesome Mitsubishi, this lift looks awesome than claiming as your own. And now go along to another staff only Mitsubishi. <laughs> And now we go along to XL Central Station, which is Custom House, and along to a lift there. The doors. Doors closing. Going down. Platform level. Doors opening. This lift is under service control. And now we go along to a restaurant near Custom House Station. And the lift in here is a stanner. So now we go along to the next lift, which is in some random hotel nearby, and it is in Little Otis Gen 2. It's a tremendous little Otis that was located in Novotel. Now go along to a platform lift. Oh well. 
a long two Boris's cable car, one of Boris's vanity projects to prove how important he is, along with his chums from the Emirates. Going down. Doors closing. Please mind the doors. We go along to XL West Station, which is Royal Victoria, and along to the lifts there. And now go along to a boat. Yep, just some random boat has been moored up permanently and converted into a hotel. I don't know if it is original to a boat, whether it added when it was converted. along to the Alimark Heck climbing lifts. These are totally awesome and just when you think lifts are getting a bit boring and all the same, these are totally different. They have a motor on top of the lift which climbs the lift up for that companion. It is just like nothing else. These are so awesome and I've done a detailed look at these climbing lifts and this is in a separate video. Link is in the description so make sure you check out my video of these awesome climbing lifts. Click the link in the description now. So then, I've surfed some epic lifts, and I've also surfed some rather crap lifts, but in this video, I surf a climbing lift. It's lift surfing time! In this video, I'll take a detailed look at an Alima Heck climbing lift. Now these are just totally epic. Just take a look at this. Now this is just so different to anything else you normally see. Just look at this, it's just such a weird design of lift. These are climbing lifts, so the motor's actually on top of the lift, climbing lift up a rack and pinion system. Now that is just so unusual. These lifts are made by Ali Mark Heck and they are a large company that make temporary lifts for scaffolding. And you regularly see these on building sites, but it's just very rare to have these as passenger lifts. In fact, I only know a few of these in England, which are the ones at South End and Essex, the one at the Imperial War Museum in Tilford Keys, Manchester, and of course these ones at Custom House. So then there's four lifts here, there's two lifts each side of the bridge, but guess how many of these lifts were working? The answer, just 
one. These lifts are incredibly unreliable. They break down all of the time. All of the nearby residents that live here never go in these lifts. They always take the stairs because they know how unreliable they are. These lifts are pretty bad. But who cares if they're unreliable? They are just so epic. And now, let's take a more unusual view of these lifts by opening up the doors on the ground floor and taking a closer look at the lift's rack and pinion system. Let's take a ride in this awesome lift. It's the awesome Alamac Head Climbing Lift. This lift is located at Custom House. It's really beautiful than I ever thought. And here I am, up on the top floor. Let's take a look at the lift from up here. Get a more unusual view of this lift by opening it up up here at bridge level and long way down. Woo! That is a long way. You get a really nice unusual view from up here. And we can also see the other lift which is not working, it's stopped between floors. So then from up here we can see the car top controls of this lift. And you can see the lift motor is actually on top of the lift and this big logic cabinet which appears to be a modified version of Leicester controls. And on this cabinet we can see the lift surfing controls which look very different from anything else I've seen before. And now it's lift surfing time! Let's go surf this lift but it's very risky because this lift is completely out of the open. Anybody could see our surfing this lift. Pretty much any of the residents nearby, anyone down that ground, or if anyone came along at bridge level, they could easily see that I'm on top of this lift. You have to be pretty mad to surf this lift. So let's go surf the lift!
along across to the other side of the bridge I go. So the other two alley mutt climbing lifts which are not working. One of the lifts has been switched off and it's stopped between floors. The other lift is down on the ground floor. And you're seeing on the ground floor with his doors open but the doors are jammed. Now these lifts have drop key doors. In those lifts were built in the 90s and the regulation in those time was for trying to read doors. Drop key doors are only allowed for light and flight replacements and these are a new installation in the 90s. So I don't know how comes they have drop key doors. But anyway, the one thing you often get with drop key doors is the inner and outer doors becoming detached. What's happened here? The mechanism is jammed but it's a very easy fix. All you have to do is push it back into position because the mechanism is like a thing where the inner door pushes the roll and pushes the outer door open. I put my hand in between the doors, down to the catching point and I fixed it. I am now a lift engineer. I am an unofficial, unauthorized lift engineer and I managed to get this lift working again. On the ground floor, let's open up the other lift and take a closer look at the rack and pinion motor. sadly comes on as soon as the lift starts moving it rather drones out the motor sound it's the other man in that can climb the lift that is working properly I'm up on the top floor and once again I started messing around with the lift doors just like I do and what I was doing is I got caught yeah I got caught just by one random member of the public and guess what now. That's right, they thought I was a lift engineer because I've got to wear a fluorescent sort of coat on and the fact I was filling around with lift doors and I am a lift engineer. I might be an unofficial, unauthorised lift engineer but hey, I got the lift working again. 